Good day. This video is the first of five videos on notation. At the end we will have one that puts everything together, but we're just going to make the baby ones first. So this is notation one. In this video we're going to work on set builder notation, explaining what it means and how to read the set builder notation. In the corner here we will have a help box that will help us if we forget any of the number systems that we are going to work with. Right, like I said, there could be one of these two methods of writing it. I'm going to stick to the bottom one. Firstly, set builder notation is used in natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and real numbers. So, um, there's no limitation on where you can use set builder notation. Right, so the first very important fact is, if I asked you, where do you start reading this notation? Automatically people will go here. No. Very important fact in math, start at the back. Learn it from here. You'll, it'll happen from now on a lot. So we, you start over here and pull, put all the whole numbers in your head. So, you, so here we have all the whole numbers. You pull all of them, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. You put them in your head and you wait. Then you go from here to here. Now there's a whole story going on here too. If you were asked, how do you read this section? People start from the 1 and the 2, minus 1 and the 2. You don't. You start from the x. And what x means is x are the numbers you are looking for. So don't be threatened by this x standing over here. But you must read from here. So you say the numbers you are looking for. You don't say x. You say the numbers you are looking for is bigger than minus 1. And the numbers you're looking for is smaller than 2. So you read from the x. And after you finished over here, you will go to this side and then maybe do something to x. But this is not going to happen in these videos. In these videos. So this video is saying we're working with the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it says we're looking for the numbers from those numbers that are bigger than minus 2 and smaller than 2. And I'm going to indicate it on this number line over here. Now it will look like this. Either it will, you can put it on the line, but put proper markers there, dots, black dots, or you can put it in the air. Both are acceptable. So they say x is smaller and equal. There's an equal sign there to 2, so we're going to use 2. And then smaller than 2 is 1 and 0 and so on, but then they said it must be bigger than minus 1, so we're not doing anything with 1. I wrote up in the area that we use dots on these three groups of number systems, no circles here. And when we get to this system, we will have dots and circles and square brackets and lines and all kinds of stuff. So that's just like a little key. We don't put any circles on these two, three guys. Just quickly a small explanation. Um, this is what we call 2 is smaller than 4. But a lot of people have a problem with that. Please look at it my way. If you look at this sign over here, it's got a small side here and a big side here. So you always put the small guy on the small side and the big guy on the big side. So this one is bigger than that one. Look here. There's the sign again. There's a small side to it and a big side to it. So the small guy goes on the small side and the big guy goes on the big side. So that means 1 is smaller than 5 or 5 is bigger than 1. However way you want to read it. Yeah, 5 is bigger than 2 or 2 is smaller than 4. So here we are saying x is smaller than 2. So the numbers we are looking for should be smaller than 2. So here is 2. And we're looking for the numbers smaller than 2, just to explain this smaller and bigger than. So the numbers you're looking for is on the small side, so it's smaller than the number that you see on this side. Please read from the x. The numbers we are looking for is smaller than 2. Remember that, please. Now I changed the question a little bit. So here's a new question. We're now working with real numbers. You first have to understand what real numbers are. They are all the numbers from 0 to 1 and in between and in between and in between and them. You first need to know what that is. You have to look at the video on what all these number systems mean. And this is how you will answer it. You will put a dot on the 0 and on the 1 and then in between also you'll put dots but that will take too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from 2, so we're going to go to 2, I'm going to do it in the area. At 2, I'm going to make a dot in the air. Then I'm going to go to minus 1. At minus 1, I'm going to make a circle in the area. And then I'm just going to connect this and make sure this is colored in properly. And that will be my final answer. Look like this. Please understand that the first number on this side of minus 1 is not naught. It is like 
minus 0.9999, but that's not important now that we explained on the number systems. So it is, we don't want minus 1, we want 2, and we want everything in between. So what is a line? A line is many points that I made in between here. So this is the final answer. Now in maths, there's two ways they can ask the questions. They can either give you the set builder notation like here and ask you to write it on number lines or give you the number lines and ask you to write it in set builder notation. We can answer this question over here roughly as follows. We bring the number 4 onto the number line. Because we're working with natural numbers, we're going to put dots on the number line. And over here it says the numbers we are looking for is smaller and equal to 4. So I'm going to put numbers on the left hand side of 4. Now we are going to put dots on the applicable numbers 4 and the number smaller than 4. Remember that it says here that it is natural numbers, so I mustn't go past 1. Then that is the final answer. 1, 2, 3 and 4. It's got dots on them. And that's all. Now for this question, we are working with real numbers, so we're going to draw a line. And we're also going to start at 4, so I'm going to go to 4 and definitely do something at 4, but because there's an equal over there, I'll make a dot at 4 to start with. And then it says here we're looking for the numbers smaller than 4, but now it's going to be millions of numbers left of 4. Then I have to put millions of dots next to him, so I'm going to have to put dots all next to him, but that's going to be taking him too long. So we just draw a line with an arrow. And that tells me then I'm using all these numbers, hundreds of numbers, along the line. I indicated in our help box here that we're going to draw lines at R and put dots on the other three sets of number systems. Because this is R, we're going to draw a line. Because what is a line? It's millions of points that I'm making along this line and it tells me to go on forever. It doesn't tell me to stop. This one had to stop because the natural numbers stops at 1. Now we'll do the next two, this one with integers, and the same one, but now with real numbers. I drew a number line now, but at least has this number in, and that number, I always put an extra one for understanding purposes over here. You don't need it, really need to, because it integers, I will have to put dots, so I need all these numbers. So here we go, this is how we'll do it. We'll start at minus 2, and there's an equal sign over there, so we'll put a black dot there. Then I'll go to minus 6. There's no equal. I'll do nothing over there. So it'll look something like this. I'll start at minus 5 because I want this first number that is bigger than minus 6. That is an integer. That'll be minus 5. And then I'll put the minus 2 to just get him into the discussion. And then the numbers we're looking for is in between of these two. And this will be the final answer. The real numbers are easier to answer. You're always going to definitely use the minus 2 and definitely use the minus 6. Equal. Tells me I'm going to put a black dot there, like that one. And then, where there is no equal, I'm going to put a circle. This only works on R. I'll start by indicating these two points. And then, because it's real numbers, I'm going to just make millions of dots in between. So here it says, the numbers we have is minus 6. No, he's excluded. Anything from just on the other side of him is not minus 5. All the way up to 2. We want all the numbers between minus 6 and minus 2, excluding minus 6, including 2. This is how this is written. This question on our asking, write down in set builder notation the set of represented on each number line. Here I can see it's not real numbers. There's a minus 1 in here, so I'm going to use integers here. You can also, uh, in some cases, you could do it differently, but this one, I'll apply. we're working with the numbers minus 1, 0, and 1. We're not going on, there's some stops here. And this one goes from minus 1 to 1, but it's, in it's uh, uh, real numbers. Just The answers will look like this. We start at the back by saying these are integers. The x in the front is not very important now. And now we have to put the restriction over here. And this is then one of the possible answers. I'll write another one more. There's more than one possible answer here, but this is one of the answers. We could also say x is smaller than 2 and bigger than minus 2. Still will give us the same answer. Don't get confused because there's more than one way of answering it. Now this one. Again, we start at the back because there's a line. There's millions of points. We're going to use R at the back. 
x in the front is not very important. And now the restriction we will write down here. It must be between minus 1 and 1. There is no other way to write this one. You can't do what you want. Here is about three or four ways to do this one. But this one's got one answer. The rear part is real numbers. Here you must tell if it's in or excluding the 1. In or excluding this is including the minus 1. There's a black dot there. Including the 1, black dot there. And the numbers we want are in between of these two. This one, we are between minus 1 and 1. It's real numbers. We started with real numbers at the back. Then we wrote our restriction. We want the x values between minus 1 and 1. Excluding no equal over here because there's a circle. And then it is equal over there because there's a black dot over there. This one will work like this. Line, real numbers at the back. X in the beginning, not very important. And then we put the 1 down. And because we're working left of the 1, I put my variable on the left-hand side. And I say, these numbers are smaller than what 1 is, and including it because of the black dot. And that was set builder notation.